Another day of scrims, another pretty big matchup here between Optic Gaming and Los Angeles Thieves. So before we get into the actual breakdown of this one, a couple things to talk through based on how the day went overall. So first, to start the day, the first scrim, they actually ended up running through the hard points and the control maps against Florida. And when it came to the hard points overall, Chicago didn't look very good against Florida at all. They ended up going one and three over the course of the four maps. And the one that they won, they had to super clutch up in like a 250 to 245 fashion. And they had to come back by quite a bit in order to get that victory. So against Florida to start the day, they didn't really look great. I'd imagine going into the year, that's a team that everybody's going to have to look out for anyways, right? When you have Skies and Awakening running the ARs, we all saw last year how dominant they could be and how they could perform as a squad, talking about Florida. So we'll see if they continue that up this year. But in the second scrim of the day, they matched up against Los Angeles Thieves, and this went a little bit better. So over the course of the four maps, they ended up going three and one. They were super close. The one map that they lost was actually the one map that was super tight against Florida. They ended up losing the Moscow 250 to 245. It was really close. Skump was in the hill at the end. He just couldn't get a kill on Slack to confirm that last map. So they were basically one kill away from going 4-0 against uh, Los Angeles Thieves here. And in this one, this was the most lopsided map. And I think the biggest reason is that formal is starting to play really well on this map. You just saw him there in the kill cams, but we also broke down this map like two or three days ago and formal was absolutely going off. Just his dominance, being able to hold down these really long, narrow lanes like this with that main AR. If you basically have one head glitch on one side and another head glitch on the other side and you put formal on one of those, it's just a tough gun battle to win, and they're doing a really nice job of getting him in those locations early enough that when hills pop, they're they're set up and they're in the, the, the dominant side of those gun battles. So right here, as we get into the actual breakdown of what's happening in this scrim, we are inside of P3 at the moment. Optic started this scrim having good sides, so... They, they, they spawned, they were able to get time inside of P1, and they just held as it rotated over towards P2 on the left-hand side of the map. So that's where their early lead came from. So they're up by 17 points or so. There's about 17 points left in this P3 hard point, and as it's about to rotate over towards P4 and P5, it seems like what they're doing right here is just put is just holding down the push out of vents over here that's a tough stun right there tough flash but i like the fact that both smgs are just kind of set up right here as formal gets a two-piece obviously when teams leave that p3 hard point they're trying to exit out this top hand side of the map so that they can get bridge control because once you have bridge control like where skump's at right now if you're top bridge you can shoot down on skump from where he's at right now and just get easy kills and once you're up there you can hold those choke points in top green and as they try to run through p5 so for the first time today let's go ahead let's pause this let's bring up our mini map and let's explain exactly what we're talking about so we just left p3 and as that happened la was getting this spawn here so as it rotates over towards p4 you really have two options now you're getting this spawn so if you have this spawn Sure, you could work through the right side of the map and hit this mid cut to try to get towards P4. But if you try to do that, the fact that Optic is spawning over towards P2, when they get this spawn and they go top green, they're going to be in power positions here or up on top bridge. And this is a really easy gun battle for ARs like Dashy and Formal to win. So rather than go that way, what teams like to do is when they have P3 control and they're getting this back spawn, now all of a sudden if they could push out over toward vents and they could get up here to top bridge, now they have the advantage, right? So their top bridge, if there's anybody inside of P4, they can shoot them in the back. They can easily win that gun battle or they can also push forward and get control of this green building right here. And once they get control of green, now if Optic's getting this back P2 spawn, 
they have to run up towards green, and this is a really tough choke point to get through before they even get close to P4. They could also go P5 or mid beat on here going across the center, but if they go across the center this way, now if you're 100 Thieves, you could also have somebody up in this power position here on top bridge, and you can just shoot down on them and easily get that kill also. So what we were watching there towards the end was as P3 came to a close and 100 Thieves tried to exit P3, they took that route over towards Vents, basically trying to get this power position that you see Scump in right here. And now once they have control of Vents, Scump is top bridge. He's watching over Caution here. They're getting the mid cut and that left side garage cut. I mean... This is a really tough setup to try to beat here if you're the team that has that initial P3 spawns. I think Scump is curious as to if somebody was able to get behind him or not. Not quite sure if somebody... Oh, yep, there it is. You see the bullets right there. It might be Slasher with the AR back there. So now it'll be interesting to see once Optic Chicago members end up going down where they get their spawns. So... With Scump, I wish that we could have, you know, Codcaster modes that we could see exactly where those spawns are coming in. But what we're watching right here is it looks like now this is actually that's actually a pretty nasty heady. I'm not sure that I've seen that one yet. Jumping up on those blue barrels and, and shooting into Adom like that. Um, but yeah, so at the beginning of this P5 hardpoint, Slasher was able to get behind. We saw him get that one kill, and once he was back there, he just held it long enough until P5 popped. You hear Scump kind of popping off right there, but he just held it long enough so that when his teammates died, they spawned in the back. And then P5 is one of those hills that even if you have those spawns, it's pretty tough to get inside if you're already set up there like optic was it's pretty easy to watch that push through adam and watch the push through the back if you're set up and that's exactly what you are seeing right there and notice that scump keeps turning around because as it's about to rotate he just wants to make sure that they're not getting pushed out from behind so 188 to 69 advantage at the moment best thing about scrims is that we can listen in and we can hear exactly what they're talking about and communicating as we move forward here so with that let's go ahead let's listen into the optic team comp as we continue through the second set of rotations here no he's, he's square right now square 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 yeah. we're dead that guy's time, one time. small small go small go. nothing lights i got top of that dead. let's push that call top of the then back up. Peeking. He's up top. He's up top. He ran. He jumped down. Oh, one more. Ooh, I'm here. Shot that connection erupted. Go on their side. I'm waiting for you guys here. You gotta middle. go. Go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Yeah, yeah I don't see. Him. I don't see my no. Nice. Nice. Green I have middle. You. I have middle. Fuck. You're off the top green. Yeah. You guys. Top green. Yeah, they're green. What the fuck, dude? One mid dead. I might be lagging out. I'm just holding on. Yeah, we're winning this fucking game. They're in the back. It don't matter. They're not in the back. They're in the back. We're not. Did he jump up? Uh, I'm not sure. And this is why if you had to pick one money hill on this map, P3 is pretty good too if you want to try to max out 50, 55, 60 points. But P2 is also very much so. As Scump is just winning all of these super contested gun battles. Uh, that was a decent chow right there, and he ended up winning it. But you can see right here, once you get control of P2, you have spawns, and you're watching the mid cut right here as Scump just ran through and towards top green. It's just easy to cut through right there. And Scump ends up going 24 and 12. Again, I wish on the scoreboard we could see exactly what everybody did because Dashy dropped 4,000 damage. Optic Envoy also dropped 4,000. So it seems like those two kind of led the way. Envoy must have been on some sort of streak because he had basically four, tw four times the score of Scump. Streaks in this game give you just a massive score advantage. On the opposite side, we don't really have anything in terms of score. In fact, TJ and Slasher had a score less than 1,000, and Temp was barely 1,000. So not a great showing out of them, but like I said earlier, if I had to pick what might be the best map for Optic Chicago, you're probably looking at it right here in Garrison. So with that, guys, if you're new around here, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This is what I do. I break down scrims every single day and bring up the mini map, show you guys exactly what's happening. I've been doing this every day for like 400, 500 days. So 
make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave a like if you don't mind as it really helps out the channel. And with that, guys, thank you so much. We will see you in tomorrow's upload.